All right, the um, GUI is pretty much finished for my animation. It's bottom. It's a bit later than it should be because I had some other stuff to do. But anyway, uh, this when you download it, you'll get um, this exe and then a plugins folder, and then there'll also be another folder which will create these menus and stuff. As of now, I've done plugins for 8.5, 32-bit, 2009, 64-bit, 2011, 64, and 32, and 2012, both 32-bit and 64-bit. I'm also going to do May at 6 and May at 2009, 32-bit. If you've got any other ones you want me to do, just send me a message and I'll do them. So, if you start the application, just get this interface, you can resize it. So if I go to Black Ops Animations, for this example, I know what to export all the free scan animations. If you have the export a load ticked, it'll export them when you load it. So, just select them all, drag them on, it loads and exports them. It also tells you like notes, uh, type counts, frames, uh, FPS, type it is, and if it's looped. So if we set that one, we see we've got five notes. It tells you what frames they're on in the animation as well. We can also uh, view its tags. Just have a quick look at them if we want. The only thing about that to do really is um, the add note tracks, edit and delete note tracks, and then save the animation with the edited stuff everyone else has done. I've also done animation changer for people that want to use Black Ops animations in COD 5 or COD 4 and people that want to use COD 4 or COD 5 animations in Black Ops. There is only, there's a slight difference between the files which you can change with a hex edit yourself or you can just drag, if you drag these Black Ops files on it will convert them. I know. Convert them so now these ones will work with um, COD 4 and COD 5. Originally they would only work with Black Ops. And if you were to drag COD 4 and COD 5 ones, um, they would end up in here. So that's pretty self explanatory. Um, if I just. I just show one animation. This is 2011 64 bit. So we can see that's loaded. And we have a file translator and commands, which is what we want. Um, I'm just going to put some arms in. Uh, and then. Freeze gun because we did freeze gun animations. Just move that a bit. Join the weapon. So that's a single rig. Textured mode. Import and then we'll go to additional options. Select this one and then we want a weapon. We're importing a weapon animation so it tick this otherwise it won't import correctly. If you're not doing any weapon animations, untick that. Uh, we'll import. I have them in here already, so I'll just pick these. Uh, so I did an animation, and then we can play that. And if we go to Rough it out. Mm -hmm. We can see our animation in the graph editor. So yeah, I will probably release all this with either later tonight or tomorrow. It just depends. I've got some other work to do tonight, but yeah, we're in a day. I should have released it. That's it.